Our responsibility is to manufacture material to the highest quality standard. It's so important to have flow through the shop. We have several different processes from extrusion, paint, decorating, warehousing, shipping, water fulfillment. So when we designed the flow, we looked at a 10-year plan of how the factory would grow and made sure that we would have the right constraints in the right areas in the facility and product would be able to move down the line without hitting bottlenecks. So here's the production process for creating longboard. We start with an 8 inch diameter log of aluminum and we put it through a heating process, take it up to about 850 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes out of the log oven and is sheared into what we call a billet. That billet is loaded into the press and the press pushes the aluminum through whatever shape of product we're trying to make. And so we have a die in the press that determines the shape that's going to exit the press. We exit out the press 200 feet. We take that 200 foot piece of material. We stretch it, poker straight. We cool it. We run it through a finished saw, cut it to a stock length. And then we put it through an aging process to make sure the mechanical properties that are designed into it are achieved. Then we take that piece of aluminum, run it through our vertical powder coating line and apply a base powder coat. And then we go to the final decorating process where we take and tattoo ink into the powder coat finish. The ink we tattoo goes through the full depth of the powder. So the ink is afforded all of the UV stability that's designed into the base powder. And when we come out of that process, you have this amazing looking piece of wood grain aluminum. Inherent in the aluminum process, there is a scrap rate. That scrap is recycled and repurposed back into log and reproduced. So there's really zero waste. It's just repeated in a process a couple of times before it ends up in a sustainable finished product. We've expanded our pre-treatment area and the water filtration system so that any water going back into the environment is clean and there are no contaminants whatsoever. From the time it gets packaged at the extrusion line to where we unload it and put it on the paint line, we're inspecting the quality of that product. We have a very high level of automation in the building and we are fortunate that we can have the kinds of equipment that worldwide is on the cutting edge. Technology really has made the quality more sustainable, more predictable, and the process more accurate and repeatable. Non-combustible, maintenance-free, doesn't warp, doesn't chip, doesn't fade, will look fantastic in the built environment for 20 plus years to come.